Welcome back to Tech Project. I am back with another video. So after a long time, I am creating a video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a 360 degree image view in your Android app. So I am going to tell you how you can integrate 360 degree view in your Android app. So before starting the video, let's see a demo what we are going to create. So for this, I have to open my emulator. So here you can see this is the emulator and this is the app which we are going to create so i am using dummy image here and all credit goes to the this image owner so here you can see this is the 360 degree image view you can move around the image view you can play around this image view and you can zoom in zoom out here so we are going to see how we can we can integrate this in our android app so this is very amazing thing and you will you can learn lots of things while implementing this thing we are going to use a library but if you explore the library code you are going to learn lots of things in this project so don't further delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so to integrate the 360 degree in image view first of all i am going to tell you the library which we are going to use for this so this is the library which we are going to use and the image is also belong to this library so here you can see this is so i will also paste this library link in the description so you can directly check it out as well so you can see this library contain feature like 360 degree image view you can zoom or zoom in zoom out the image you can rotate the image you can also enable the accelerometer so lots of things are there but i am going to tell you how to implement a basic implementation in your android app and then you can explore lots of other things like you can add a hotspot on these images while if you tap on any other image it will redirect to another image just like a google street view so you can in implement all the things using this library so first of all thanks to this author of the library so now let's see how to integrate this thing in our android project so for this i have to open android studio now i am just creating a new project so file new new project empty views activity next 360 degree demo app you can give any name to your application now click on finish so it will create this demo application here now after this we have to add this library in our project so open your build.radle module app and here we have to add the dependency so you can directly copy paste the dependency or you can type it so i already have this dependency in my project so i am just copy pasting the dependency from there so just copy paste and paste it here now we also need a jetpack for this so for this just open your settings.gradle so first of all i am copying this jetpack url from my settings so you have to just to paste this in your settings.gradle file now click on sync now so it will add this library into your project so now project added successfully now this library required let me tell you how this library work so for this first of all you need a 360 image so what is actually a 360 image it is a panorama image you can create your own device using your own device like android or ios so 360 is not nothing just a panorama image so i have a panorama image and this panorama image contain inside this library so you have to just paste this panorama image inside your resource directory so inside resource you have to just create a row directory and here you can see this is just a panorama image which we are going to use in our project now let's come into the our main part main activity where we will see how to integrate this in our android app so first of all if we want to show 360 on our android app first of all we need a view so for this i am just changing this view to a frame layout you can use any layout but we need a view group here so you can see this is frame layout 0 dp 0 dp you can give any width and size according to your project now let's come you can give any id name so i am just giving fl view now let's declare this view first so that we can find it so private latin it where fl view frame layout fl view equal find view id r dot id dot fl view so now this id implemented successfully here now we have to initialize our pl manager so basically this library contain a pl manager which will which help to add the image in your view and then you can play around using that image so for this i am just creating a function here initialize pl manager private one initialize pl manager so first of all let's create a variable for this private latinate where pl manager 
sorry PL manager this is the function now we have to initialize this so PL manager equal PL manager this and then we have to apply so you can add multiple things so first of all we have to set the content view where our image is going to display so we are going to show our display image on our frame layout then we have to call the on create of this PL manager and then after this we can add multiple things according to our requirement you can leave the read the library docs as well is scrolling enabled is accelerometer enabled true and is zoom enabled if we want to zoom in our image view or not and is inertia enabled true so i am just making the false here because i will not able to demonstrate how the accelerometer work so basically the work of this you can move your rotate your android device and it will just move the image as well and at last is accelerometer touch scrolling enabled false so now our pl manager initialized successfully now what we have to do we have to set the image on our image view so first of all we have to create a panorama view this is also provided by the library so you just have to type here pls spherical so you have to just type here pls spherical panorama and it will display here now we have to set the camera angles and this is the camera angle from at first whenever the app opens when where you want to display your image points so basically 360 degree is a very big image so where you where at specific point you want to show the image at starting so this is just a photo camera and it contain two things yaw and pitch so you can read this on the library how this coordinates work on the 360 image view so look at and i am just passing here for now 30 degree and 90 so this is done now we have to set the image to our panorama image view so you have to just type here set image then pl image now this view only accept bitmap so this library also contain the utils function so you have to just import this util then get bitmap and inside this you can pass your image and you can also pass the image on runtime by using glide and you can convert the image URI into bitmap and then you can pass it as well now after this this image set successfully now we have to set this panorama to our PL manager so panorama equal panorama so now this is done now if you integrate integ if you interact with image view you image is not going to perform anything and it will not read it because we don't give any touch event to this so don't forget to give the touch event for to our image view this is very important line for your 360 degree image view so on touch you have to just return here return pl manager dot on touch event and pass here event and default you can pass false it is not required because we use late init where but if you make it unable then you can pass default false now it is also good practice if you destroy or resume the panorama only when required so on resume i am just calling here pl manager resume and on destroy i am just de destroying this so our project is done now let's run this application and see how it is looking so my emulator is opened so this is done let's see so you can see our project installed successfully and you can see our 360 degree image view is working perfectly so i hope guys you learn something new in this video and first of all before saying anything i want to say the all credit goes to for this project to the author of this library so i just want to say thank you to for the author to the library so i just want to say thanks to the author and i will also provide the description of library link into the description so you can directly check it out as well so i hope guys you like this video if you learn something new then please like the video please share the video and please subscribe the channel so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you